Growing up in undeveloped country, we always craving for some electronic things, some new technologies. We want to have refrigerator. We want to have a motorcycle. We want to have a electric cooking pot. We want to have a car. We want to have a big house, like a city people have, like many people have in developed countries. We struggle a lot to have this thing. We think that this new technology is going to make our life better, life more comfortable. So we struggle a lot. When I was a kid, when the first TV came to the village, people start to get up at four o'clock in the morning and then they walk to the forest. They cut the forest down and they work very hard to grow hemp, to grow cassava, to grow corn. They work for a year or two, two years sometimes, to make enough money to buy one refrigerator. They're so proud of what they have. Whenever they got refrigerator, whenever they have new TV, many people will come and see. Everybody wants to have something like that. I think like that too. I want to have something like that. But in another way, like now, I start to think about when we have those things, did our life better than before? Many family who have a lot of technology in their house they have now. Many people have car, many people have computer, many people have big house, have many things. But people's life is harder and harder than before. So I question myself and question other people a lot. Why do we need this technology? Because when we have it, our life is harder. We have to work harder. We need to work more than before to have this thing. So is it, is this thing help to make our life better? Before that, when we cook rice, we need to get the firewood and start the fire and put the clay pot to cook the rice. It doesn't take longer than one hour. It doesn't take longer than one hour to cook rice with the old technique. But now, when we have the electric cooking pot, it takes the same time. But we don't need to go get fire wood. We don't need to start the fire. But the rest of it, is the same. But how much did we spend for the cooking pot? It's quite expensive. It's the cost of the cooking pot is the same of the salary of one people who work for one month. We need to work for one month to have enough money to buy a cooking pot. Is the cooking pot make our life better? It's, it's the same. Our life did not change in the way that we feel more comfortable or easier. But we need to work more to make more money to pay for electricity. I think there are some Thing is not clear in our belief. We always think that 
technology is going to make our life easier and comfortable. But actually, technology consumes our lives so much. I used to think about, oh, if we have a car, I can go there, go here very fast, very easy. So I can have free time. I can have more time to take a rest. But when I look at many people who have cars, they can go faster than before, but they did not have enough time to rest. They go fast, so they can have more time to work. They did not go fast, and then they have time to rest. So when we have a big house, it's the same. We work so much to have a big house. Some people have to be in debt more than 30 years to have a big house. But to have a big house, we spend maybe one hour per day to clean the house. Just to clean the house itself, it takes one hour per day every day and 365 hours per year. That's a lot of time that we do that. And then we have to work hard every day for 30 years to pay off the debt of the house. So, I feel like we lost the way. We lost the way. We think when we have more things, it's going to make our life better, more comfortable, more relaxed. But the more we have things, the more we have stuff in our life, we have less time. We have less time. So I question, what is the meaning of progressive? What is the meaning of civilization? What is the meaning of high technology stuff that we want to have in our life? Because this thing is consuming our life so fast. We lost our life completely. When we want to have a TV, I think to have a TV is so much fun. It's so nice. But we have to work more than two months to save the money to buy a TV set. Some people even work longer than that for a year to save money for one TV set at, in the past. But when we got TV, we did we relax more? Did we feel better? Did we have more time to watch TV? No, we have less time to watch TV because we need to work more. So to get money to buy a TV, we lost our life for two months or three months. The time in our life is so precious, but we use it to buy a set of TV, which we did not have enough time to watch it. So this is one thing I keep thinking a lot about our life now. Why do we want so many things? And then when we got it, it did not make our life better. We want to have a fancy car, a nice car, the fastest car. But we have to work for many, many years to pay off the car. We work hard for nothing. This is illusion in our life for me. I think I did not against, I did not refuse technology, but I feel like we use technology in the wrong way. We use technology because of we become slave of it technology, but we did not think about how to use technology to make our life better and easier. 
everywhere. People think in this situation now. Farmer in the village, they have to buy the big tractor because they feel like other people have it. I have to have it too. I feel ashamed. I feel bad if I don't have a tractor like other people. But to have a tractor, it costs so much money. Even they work hard more than ten years, they cannot pay off the debt of the tractor. So we waste our time in our life so much to buy technology. How can we use technology in the way that make our life better? But now the technology consume our life so much. So many stuff in our life now. All of them consume our life. We lost a lot of the precious time in our life for so many non, so many things that's not necessary for us. That's so sad. We cannot have time to laugh. We cannot have time to play. We cannot have time to relax. To enjoy life is very important. I think about when I was a kid. When I was a kid, the communists started to take over Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam. So the Thai government started to uh, do advertisement or do propaganda about if we are about how bad communist is. If you are a communist, they're going to take the kid away from their parents. And then they're going to take the kid, send the kid to the brainwash school. So the kids will be taught to, to be the boss of their parents in the future. So when they finish the school, they will come back to the village and then they will order, they will control the village. They will order the parents to work hard. They will force their parents to pull the cart instead of the cows or buffalo. And then they will give food to their parents just a little bit, a can of rice per day, every day. I feel so bad to hear about this thing. I don't want to be separated from my parents. I love my parents. I am afraid of communists a lot at that time. I don't want to go to the brainwash school. I don't want to force my parents to work hard. I don't want to feed my parents with a can of rice per day. So most of the kids most of people are afraid of communists in the village after we watch that advertisement. I feel so bad. I always cry. I always went to somewhere alone and cry. I don't want to be separate from my parents. But now, what I afraid the most, what I afraid of the most now, it's become normal in our life. All the kids in the country were separate to, from their parents. They were sent to the brainwash school everywhere. We call kindergarten, we call school. That's where they train the kid to be the boss of their parents. When they go to school, they cannot do anything. They just ask money from their parents. They don't know how to work. They don't know how to do things. And then parents have to work hard, harder than before. And then they eat less than a can of rice per day. Many people eat one packet of instant noodle. One package of instant noodle, if you squeeze it tight, make it crumble. 
it shrink it a lot. It only a few spoon only. It's not a lot of food at all. But that's what many people eating now. All over the, the country, people eat something like this. So it's worse than communists. We work harder. We have a bad life. We eat very bad. And then our kid, after they finish the school, they don't know how to cook. They don't know how to farm. They don't know how to clean the ditches. They don't know how to do things. They become handicapped. So they need to rely on parents more, mainly. So it's not different from what the government advertised in the past. If we are communist, we're going to be separate like this. We're going to work hard like this. But now we completely be separated. Most of the kids have no time to be with parents. Because parents have to go work hard. The kids need to go to the brainwashed school. Both of them have no contact, have no time to be together. So we don't know how to love together, how to love each other anymore. So life is harder and harder and more suffer. I think it's the time to change the way we think. Think about what we doing now is not serve us at all. Technology, civilization, and everything we have now, it just changed human into a slave. How can we use technology to serve human more? This is the question. How can we make everything around us be useful for us more? But now we develop so many things to make us become a good slave of the system. We work hard for nothing. I think we have ability to change. I think we have power to decide our own life. When it's not right, it will not last long. When it's not right, it will not Relax. It will not happy. It will not be. It cannot be happiness. So in our lifetime, we need to decide a new way of living, to make life better, to change technology, to serve us more, to make our life more relaxed. I think everybody can help to think. If we don't think, if we don't try, we will never find a way. But if we start to think, if we start, start to experiment, we will find more ways to make our life better, easier, and more fun.